Hi, I'm Lorraine Herring and I'm here to talk to you about part one of the Writing Warrior practice. This is the three-part breathing practice that I outline in the book. Um, and for the purposes of a demonstration, I'm going to direct you over to my teacher and friends website at www.kaincarroll.com. That's C-A-I-N-C-A-R-R-O-L-L.com. Um, and then when you get to that website, click on the videos link on the top and then scroll down. You'll see a video that calls, that's called um, Simple Breathing Exercises for Health. Um, these are professionally done by a, um, at an AM morning show that he participated in, so the quality is really good. Um, plus, he's taller and thinner than me, and so you're able to see a little bit better um, what's going on with his body as he's doing the breathing. Um, the purpose, though, for the, for the writing warrior and, and how this affects our writing is to help bring us into more communication with the self through the breath. The three-part breathing is going to help ground us. It's going to help still the mind a little bit. It's going to help um, quiet the body um, and, and help you be more present so that you can then move on to the shaking and onto the writing. It's kind of that first check-in. It's like, hey, self, how you doing? Where am I aching? Where am I... Um, feeling some tightness, where am I feeling some constriction? Uh, the breath is going to show you that if you pay attention to that. And conscious breathing is a really great way to do that. Not only is it going to help you communicate with yourself, it's going to make you feel better. Um, some things that come up for people when they first practice breathing is that they um, find that they're not exhaling fully or inhaling fully. Um, they're, they're not willing to let that last little bit of air go. Um, that was something that I noticed when I first began working with with my breath as well. It's like, I just want to hang on, which is something when I think about it is, is prevalent in my life too. I just want to hang on to that moment a little longer. I want to hold on to that person a little longer, that experience a little bit longer. And we're learning to fully inhale and fully exhale has helped me to be much, much more at ease um, just in my, my regular life. It's helped me to be much more fluid on the page, much more productive in my work. I'm able to balance things a little bit better between my full-time job, my writing, my husband, everything else that, that goes on in, in someone's life. Um, breath is a real anchor for that. Um, as you practice the three-part breathing, you're first going to be looking at expanding the belly out on the inhale. As the belly expands, the rib cage expands, then the collarbone and the clavicle begin to also expand. And you're going to start to notice over time that your whole body is actually breathing. It's not just your nose isn't the one doing all the work. The oxygen's coming in through your skin. The oxygen's coming in everywhere. And you have access to all of this prana, all of this energy that's out there for you all the time. Um, and the three-part breathing is going to help you become more intimately aware of that. So go ahead over and check out Kane's video, www.kanecarroll.com, and come on back and we'll talk about the practice. Thank you very much.